All right, everybody, welcome back to episode 78 of the Craft Fair series. We're back on the Nether to do a little bit more shaving off of the walls, so I can fill in the underside of my house before tearing it back out again to add in the basement, because I don't have sponges. And I don't know about you, but I don't feel like fighting with a water building. I had to do that in the past. And that is where that experience will stay. In the past. Because I don't have the patience for that nonsense today. When I have more netherrack on me, I'll come back for that. Because that is good experience to repair this pick as I brutally beat it up against the wall. Kind of like my face, beating it up against the wall repeatedly. Semi unnecessarily, but also, you know, I'm just stubborn that way. Doesn't particularly matter which material I use, but I am going to be using netherrack as much as I possibly can. Because it is cheap and the most plentiful resource that I can find. It's legitimately weird to see it as the little chicken legs. I suppose that's what that is. After playing on my realm for so long, thinking uh, the resource pack turns it into apples automatically, and I'm using a vanilla world. Like, it's easy to forget when you don't play it every single day. Last time I recorded this was like three weeks ago, so. Hey, it's been a minute. <laughs> I just remember what I have to do. I would love to be able to get to the basement and actually fill in the pathways so I don't have to go bobbing for apples every time I want to go home. Maybe I'll get to that by the end of this recording session. Possibly not, but also possibly yes. Only time will tell. Good, I found another pocket of the Healy stuff. Let's just not invite Enderman down here. I have a bad habit of stealing the floor from beneath my feet. taken out, and I'm back to roughly where I was before I started mining all that out. Which means I am not any worse for wear, at least. Okay, there's some lag going on. I am not kosher with that. Which 
sure why there'd be that much lag going on unless it's from stuff that's going on above me. Okay, don't come over this way. I'm just going to do that. And kill that lava well before it expands any further. second row. Okay, what's up with all this lag? This is really, really being frustrating. Let me try relogging and see if that doesn't help. I will be back shortly. Okay, you guys probably didn't even register that anything happened, but that was an entire relog process on a switch, which takes a few minutes. So, let's see how well this game functions now. Just quickly check the sound. Sometimes that gets junked up. There we go. Okay, that seems to be functioning a lot cleaner. I'm not sure what happened there, to be honest. But it's not as echo content if it's not uh, Technical Difficulty City. So... We're just gonna move on and pretend that didn't happen. expand this further. Probably just out to the wall. Might be enough. Command the little squiggly rocks. Heal my pickaxe. What a marvelous job. I actually want blackstone currently. Place some of this. Still, I somehow managed to have more durability on that weakening pickaxe. 
than when I started, which is good. It's one of the reasons I'm going for netherrack, because it actually doesn't take that much durability off your item. Provided you have Unbreaking 3 on it. Deceptively not tiny pocket of healing rocks. Almost fully repaired after all that. Nice. If only I could repair my silk pick as easily. But I'm trying not to use that as much as possible. Turn to the land of the living. It's just about everything aside from the pig people here are dead. Oh, does the gas technically count as being alive? But aren't they like technically giant ghost squid? I could shoot fireballs for some unknown reason. The one that is mostly done, yes. It's frustrating that I was this close to being done and ran out of material. Okay, now I just turn that block into dirt, and then we can call that done. Do I have any extra dirt? Ooh. Do I have it with me then? Possible. That one's a no. That one's a no. Hmm. So I need to go grab a little bit of dirt then. Literally one piece of dirt will do enough. the one that I finished. Yep. Good. And then this whole side can be finished and spawn proofed. Very good. Very good. Now to go start on the next side. That was at least three or four trips to the nether to finish one corner. Uh, stop it. I'll tell you to swim forward. Right, 
let's just be cheeky and come over here. Then bring this over to meet up. Steady wins this particular race. Love how I can't see what I just did. Based on this little fade out, I think it's going to benefit me if I actually just go to sleep. Where is the staircase? Right next to me. Because somehow there's some light coming through that I can actually use to see, but not right in the middle. Oh, that's a fish. I swear I thought that was a drowned. They're not even the right color to be a drowned. Ow. Where did you... Oh, there you are. Ow. How'd you like them thorns? It hurts, didn't it? Go ahead. Take off the hunger bar. You know you want to. Oh, no you don't. Okay, good. I'm fine with that too. Let's go collect that. Save a few blocks. It's not cool. Guess I didn't have an opening in there. Don't I? Oh, I do. It's over here. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is just make that cleanly visible. clearly go to that spot. Let's just block everything off so they can't come in here. Let's 
Stop swimming. One portion at a time, and this will get filled in and done. And then we can move on to the fun part, and that's designing the basement. I pretty much know how I want it laid out. Just a couple of minor alterations from the usual layout. This is why I dislike building underwater, as you have all of these frustrating plants. Now, if I had the materials for a conduit, it would be a lot less annoying. So I wouldn't have to worry about dying. the other fish go. Cost me three health bubbles. Start by filling in this side. Realize I had enough momentum to hop on out of the water right there, but all right. I guess you could say a fair portion of my series and my content as a whole amounts to Minecraft ASMR. Uh-oh. I was not paying enough attention to that. Oh, last bubble. Thank you, Respiration, because I would have been, uh, the dead. And not like the Skyrim dead, where you get a, a cool axe and laser blue eyes. Kinda dead that makes people concerned for your well being as a player.
I guess the question here is... How do you want to quantify this? Because I moved all of my items out of the old house into the new one off camera. But I'm doing this tedious task on camera. dirt to finish off that and this side. So let's take a little bit of a break from the nether. Make my iron farm as ugly as it is to look a little bit easier to see. shovel. They're not even enchanted. side already has pretty much all the dirt on it. This one. This whole side is in the because a path block doesn't count as a full block, it won't be as dark down there. Neither does farm. Okay, so that's two more sections that are fully done up. Just going to go ahead and plunk that there. So I know exactly where to come back out from. 
all the rest of this can just go ahead and have crops on it. That's the one I'm currently working with. That's the one I'll be working with next. And then this one is the one that has almost no dirt on it whatsoever yet. Alright, now it's got a little bit. Okay. Let's run upstairs and sleep. Before we do that. It's hard to really tell with that zoomed out map. I'm going to have to get an actual map map. Which I can do. Pretty easily, actually. And I'll put it right there. So for right now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode. We're coming up on the, the holidays, so... Enjoy your Thanksgiving, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh -huh.